Still too risky, even after all that rain, even for sparklers. Yeah, Josh, and we got more rain in May than Seattle and Portland combined, but officials here with security fire say the relief from that rain is short lived. In fact, its long term effects may even lead to an increased fire danger right around 4th of July. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office and the Security Fire Department are hoping the sound of fireworks isn't heard across county lines. Even with 4th of July over a month away, Fire officials say people are already starting to celebrate. Pretty early. It'll start usually around this time. We'll start hearing fireworks go off. The sheriff's office has banned the use of any kind of firework, from the ones in the sky to the ones you can hold in your hand. The ban is not uncommon for this time of year, but surprising, considering all of the rain we got in May. Fire officials say that rain actually can be ineffective in the long run. With the wet season that we've had so far, we've seen a lot of growth. So with the dry season following that, um, there's going to be faster growing fires that occur and they're going to be burning hotter. The sheriff's office will be actively citing individuals who don't abide by the ban. <laughs> while security fire deals with the repercussions, which includes responding to hundreds of firework related incidents. People don't really follow the same safety precautions that we would expect to see, especially, you know, aerial fireworks usually cause a big problem getting onto people's houses or in their yards. Violators of the firework ban face up to $750 in fines and up to six months in jail time. Now, if you see anyone using or selling illegal fireworks, the sheriff's office says to call their non-emergency line. We have that number and a full list of illegal fireworks on our website, Terdio.com. Reporting live, Mia Villanueva, Terdio News Channel 13. All right, thanks so much, Mia.